Arini maharata kaya maslama. Assalamu alayka ya khalifat al-muslimin. Wa alaykum assalam. Muhammad ibn Ali wa Ja'far ibn Muhammad. Ahlam bikuma dayfayni karimayn. Wa bikum ya khalifat al-muslimin. Sharikna ya Aba Ja'far. لنرى إن كانت مهارتك في رمي السهام كمهارتك في رمي الباطل من الكلام إني قد كبرت على الرمي فإن رأيت أن تعفيني تفعل خيرا والله الذي أعزنا بدينه ودين نبيه لن أعفيك ومن أين لأهل الكتب والقراطيس بالرماية يا مولاي سنرى يا أبرج سنرى أحسنت يا أبا جعفر هكذا هم شيوخ بني هاشم أريدك أن تكمل أكمل يا أبا جعفر أجدت يا أبا شعفر أجدت هشام بن عبد الملك the caliph he called إمام الباقر عليه السلام all the way to شام he wanted to discipline the imam he wanted to harass the imam he made the imam leave Medina and come all the way to شام and once the imam came the imam, imam الباقر came with his son إمام الصادق عليه السلام they came together so Hisham, he did not allow Imam Al-Baqir and Imam Sadiq to sit. He kept them standing. He kept them standing outside. And then after several hours, he tells them come, but he, tells, he doesn't allow them to sit. During that time, there were several generals of the army of Hisham ibn Abdul Malik that were shooting arrows. They were shooting arrows on the target, archery. So Hisham ibn Abdul Malik, he wants to humiliate the Imam. He wants to see, let me catch him in something that he doesn't know how to do. He tells him, Oh Muhammad, I want you to shoot an arrow. I want you to shoot at the target. Imam al-Baqir alayhi salam, he tells him, he tells him, I've grown old. I've grown old and this is not something that I've grown on doing. He tells him, no, you have to shoot. So Imam al-Baqir alayhi salam, he takes an arrow, he pulls the string and he shoots it and it goes right in the middle of the target. And then he tells him, shoot another one. He shoots another one, it goes right in the middle of the target, it breaks that, piece, that first arrow that it had hit. And then he shoots a third and a fourth until nine arrows and they all hit the target. And then Hisham, he tells him, you said you didn't know. How is it that you, sh you shot all of them and you were able to hit all of them? The Imam tells him, this is the Kamal. This is the completeness that we have inherited from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. This is what the Imam is. Where we inherit everything. We are complete in everything that we do. So then Hisham, he tells him, can your son Ja'far, referring to Imam al-Sadiq, can he also do the same thing? Imam al-Baqir tells him, yes, he could also do the same thing. And then he explains to him, he recites several verses from the Qur'an. He tells him how this is the, the knowledge of the Ahlul Bayt and being complete. This is something that we inherited 
from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. This is something that Allah has given us. And he recited these verses from the Quran. He recited to him that this is a position, the position of imam is not just a normal position. Not anyone could come and say, I'm an imam. You have to be appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You, you have to receive that guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the majlis, there were many of the generals and the people of Sham, they were sitting there. Hisham, he realized that if the imam, he stays here any longer, he will not have any followers. He will not have anyone to follow him in Sham. Right away, he tells the imam, go back to Medina. Don't stay in, in Damascus.